Hey everyone, welcome to Beach Investing. Three years later, I'm your host, Andre Jolkovsky. So, I've been doing this video blog for three years now, and it's been growing great, and I thank you for all your support. So, three years later, I'm going to be giving you a nice update of what it would have looked like if you purchased the house three years ago. In Toronto, the average price went up by 21% from three years ago. So what would have it looked like in Leslieville and Riverdale? Well, three years, oh, it would have appreciated by 23%. So in the beach and East Danforth, the prices went up by 17% throughout the last three years. And what about East York? Well, prices went up a whopping 35%. That's large. So what does that mean for you? Well, it could mean a, I mean, it could mean a number of things. But what has happened from 2012 to 2013. 2012 was a different year. It had more inventory. It had, in, from my experience with my clients, less bidding wars or multiple offers. Mortgage rules, there was a lot more rules that came in that made things tighter and more difficult for buyers to be purchasing. Now, what's gonna happen, what happened in 2013? Well, I, I found that the inventory was starting to get less and less as the year went on. In the latter part of the year and in the beginning of 2014 my goodness the market has gone crazy 2014 the first two months inventory from my experience has been very low the quality has been not there and it seems like the multiple offers has have been through the roof and more than ever bully offers have been the norm so I'm not only uh, sort of avoiding those I sorry I've actually encouraged my clients to not avoid bully offers, to actually go ahead, let's do bully offers now. Because if everyone else is doing it, well, we might as well join and actually beat them out to it. And that's what we've been doing. So bully offers is becoming the norm. Multiple offers is becoming, you know, just another, it's like breathing now in Toronto. Um, but so what I do encourage you guys to do is, when you do see a holdback of offers, make sure you prepare with your real estate agent what to do and prepare for bully offers if need be because that is the way things are going. And because I'm noticing that a lot of sellers and buyers in the market right now, they're actually deciding not to sell their house. They're buying without even selling their home. So that means there's more buyers than there are sellers. The, the, the demand and supply are so out of whack right now. There's so much demand and such little supply, the prices have gone up and they're continuing to rise based on economics, demand and supply. So. Very interesting start to the 2014. Let's see how things continue to go. But I do believe that more inventory are, is coming in as spring comes along. And more importantly, better quality inventory. So if you want to know more about the market and how it's going, feel free to call me and look forward to this spring. Thanks.